Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on BOSS Desktop. In this tutorial, we will get familiar with the BOSS Desktop environment. Here I am using BOSS Linux 3.4.2 with wide Indian language support and packages. Let me minimize the slide. What you are seeing here is the BOSS Desktop. You can see the main menu on the top left hand side corner. To open this menu, press Alt plus F1 keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Alternately, click on Applications menu. The Applications menu contains all the installed applications in a categorized manner. In this application menu, let us get familiar with some important applications. So, let's go to Applications, Accessories, Calculator. Calculator helps perform arithmetic, scientific or financial calculations. Let's open the calculator by clicking on it. Let us try some simple calculations. Type 5 into 8 and press equals to sign. Instead of pressing equals to sign, you can also press the enter key. Now exit this calculator by pressing the close button. Now let's look at another application. For that, go back to applications. Then go to accessories. In accessories, let's open gedit text editor by clicking on it. So, what you see right now on screen is the gedit text editor. Let me type some text here and save it. Type hello world. To save the file, I can press Ctrl plus S keys or go to file and then click on save. So, let me go to file and then click on save. The save as dialog box opens up. It prompts for file name and location in which the file has to be saved. So, let me type the name as hello.txt. And for location, I will select the desktop. Click on save button. Let's close this gedit window now and check whether our file is saved on the desktop or not. Now come to the desktop and you can see the file hello.txt here. So our text file has got saved successfully. Let me open this file by double clicking on it. Here is our text hello world. We can type in multiple local languages too in the gedit text editor. Let us see how to do so. In gedit text editor, press Ctrl plus space bar. You can see a small box at the bottom right hand side. Click on it. Select Hindi, in script. I will type hello world. You can see the text has changed to Hindi in script. Now I will select Hindi. Then I will select Phonetic. I will type Welcome using Phonetic. And you can see the word Welcome typed in Hindi. Now click on Save to save the changes. Let's close this text editor and let's see another important application from Accessories that is Terminal. So, let's move back to Applications, Accessories and then Terminal. Terminal is called Command Line because you can command the computer from here. In fact, it is more powerful than the GUI. Now, let's type a simple command to get a feel of Terminal. So, let's type ls and press enter. You can see it lists all the files and folders in the current working directory. Here it is displaying files and folders 
from the home folder. We will see later in this tutorial what the home folder is. Terminal commands are explained well in the subsequent Linux spoken tutorials in this series. Let us close the terminal now. Now, let's move on to another application that is IceWeasel web browser. This is the default web browser on the BOSS operating system. Click on application, Internet, IceWeasel web browser. IceWeasel is the rebranded version of Firefox. Using this browser, you can access your emails or search for some information on the net. Let's go to the Google site. The shortcut key to go to the address bar is F6. Or you can click here on the address bar. I will type www.google.co.in As I type, IceWeasel may suggest a few possibilities. You may choose one of these. Or continue to type the complete address and press enter. We are now in the Google search page. Let us type Spoken Tutorial in the search bar. The Spoken Tutorial website is listed as the first option. Let's click on it. This will open the Spoken Tutorial home page. Let's close this and move on. Now, let's click on Application and then on Office. In this Office menu, we have LibreOffice options like Writer, Calc and Impress. These are the word processor, spreadsheet and presentation components of LibreOffice Suite. The Spoken Tutorial website has spoken tutorials on these topics. We suggest that you explore them. Next under Application, let us explore Sound and Video menu. This option lists the various players options available in BOSS OS. You can use any of these options to play your video or audio files. Now let's see some other important things. Let's go to Places menu this time. The first option here is the Home folder. Let's open it. Every user has a unique home folder in BOSS OS. We can say that the home folder is our house where we can store our files and folders. Unless we permit, others cannot see them. More information on file permissions is available in the Linux Spoken Tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. In our home folder, we can see other folders such as Desktop, Documents, Downloads, Music, etc. In Linux, everything is a file. Let's open the Desktop folder by double-clicking on it. Hey, we can see that the same hello.txt file what we saved from gedit text editor is here. So, this folder and the desktop are the same. Let me close this folder now. Let's learn to change the desktop theme now. Go to the right hand side corner and click on the username displayed there. In my case, the username is spoken. So, I will click on spoken. Now, click on system settings option. The system settings dialog box opens up. Click on background icon. Choose any background from the list displayed. It will appear as your new background. Close this dialog box. Now, we will come to the system tools option available under applications menu. This menu has many important options which help you to manage your desktop and the various applications. Click on System Tools, Administration and Synaptic Package Manager. It will immediately prompt you for the admin password for authentication. Type in your admin password 
and click on Authenticate button. Details on how to use Synaptic Package Manager is available in a separate tutorial in this series. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about BOSS Desktop, the main menu, and many important features of BOSS Linux OS. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorial, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.